Welcome to the Sage Pastel Accounting How To video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to use the Forms Designer. You would use the Forms Designer to customize customer and supplier documents in terms of adding your logo, adding banking details, or adding and removing specific database fields. Before using the Forms Designer, you would need to know exactly which form you plan on customizing. To find the form file name, go to Help and Pastel Help. By the index, type in form file name. And on the left hand side, select the option form file names. This will open the form file names, and if you scroll down, you will see a list of the forms that you can select to customize. Look at which form you wish to customize and make note of the name accordingly. You can then go to Utility, Forms Designer. The Forms Designer program will open. Click on File and Open. You can open two types of forms, either Customize Forms, which end in ENZ, or the normal Pastel Forms, which end in ENG. If you wish to open an already customized form, this is normally found in your company folder. However, the standard Pastel Forms are found under the Custom Forms folder. For this example, we are going to be working on csstock.sp.eng open from the Custom Forms folder, and this stands for Customer Supplier Documents on Single Plane Paper. Once the form is opened, you can now customize the form accordingly. In order to add your logo, you would click on Insert, Picture. The crosshairs will display and you will need to draw a block in which to input your logo into. Once you have drawn the block, the navigation screen will open, allowing you to navigate to where you have saved your logo to. Select your logo and you may receive a message that the inserted picture is larger than the picture box on the form. It will advise you of the picture size versus the box size and advise that it may need to minimize the picture while maintaining the aspect ratio in order to fit in the form. Click on Yes and your logo will be added. In order to add your banking details, you will need to add text, but first you will need to find a suitable place in which to add this text. This may require you to delete certain database fields in order to make space. Once you have decided where you would like to add your banking or text fields to, you would then click on Insert Text. Again, you will be given crosshairs in which to draw a block. Please note that you would have to add each line separately. Draw your block and on the left hand side the properties field will display where you will see an option that says text and gives you the name of the text label 27. Remove this and start typing in your banking details. Once you have entered the line, click on enter and you will see that the name will change from label to what you have typed in on the left hand side. As advised, again you might need to add multiple lines in order to get your banking details or text fields in. Once you have ha added all of the text fields, you may notice that the text fields are different widths, sizes and do not properly align. In order to align your text fields, Holding the control, click on each text field accordingly, and you can either left align, center align, or right align. Click on the alignment, and this will ensure that all of your fields are in alignment accordingly. You can then go to Format, and select Horizontal Spacing to be equal, and Format, and select to have the vertical spacing be equal. Once you have again aligned all of your text fields and your banking details are in correctly, you can then either save your form or continue to customize the form. Next, you may wish to add or remove specific database fields. Database fields are shown in blue and can be found on the right hand side of the screen in the list that displays. Please note that only certain database fields will be shown on certain forms, so do not be disparaged if you use a specific database field and it does not pull through. Some database fields are for invoices, credit notes, debit notes, etc., while others are for your statements. Look through the list and find the database field that you are looking for. Once you have the database field, click on it and while holding it, you can drag it onto your form to a suitable place. 
You can then again use the alignment to align this database fields with other database fields on the form. You can also delete database fields by clicking on the database field and then selecting delete on your keyboard. Once you have customized your form, you will then need to save the form. You can do this by selecting File, Save As. You would then need to navigate to your company folder. Once you have navigated to your company folder, you will see that the file name will change from ENG to ENZ. If you wish to work on, for example, csdocsp.eng, but you wish to save this as just an invoice, you would then need to again refer to your form file names to save this as the invoice only. However, for this example, we will save it as csdocsp.enz in the company folder. Click on save and if you plan on emailing your customers, you will again need to save the form by going to file save as, as the csdocsp is only for printed documents. In order for it to be for emailed or PDF documents, you will need to save your forms as csdocpdfsp.enz. The PDF goes after the document name but before the paper style layout. Again, click on save. Now you can both print your document with the changes made as well as email your document to your customers.